we're going to find a successful treatment for ALS, several things are needed. First of all, we have to focus on the right drugs for the right form of the disease. We are focusing on the familial forms where we know the genetic trigger and where we have a higher hope of being able to correct that. What is needed is strong science, informed and uh, expert uh, drug development, which is itself a, uh, an art and we need uh, outstanding clinicians. Really important is that 90% of all cases of ALS are sporadic, and we don't know what the targets are there. So we need to cast a wider net, we need to have the whole richness of modern biology, and what we need is new targets, and that's what Target ALS was set up to provide. The other thing that we really want to do is have a biomarker for ALS, and we're working together with a whole con group of other organizations and researchers to figure out what the best way is to actually identify early people who have the disease, but then also be able to track them over time. We think that could be an enormous contribution to the field. But we have no way to really tell if it's actually correcting the disease because we don't have a way to read it. Um, how do we know someone's getting better? Or how do we know that it's affecting uh, the specific target? I think we really need to first get a better understanding of the molecular mechanisms of disease, and then really have mechanisms to translate what we find through that basic research into therapeutic strategies that can be brought to patients. Um, I think that there's uh, you know, a, a lot more collaboration going on now between academic groups and industry groups that's starting to bridge that divide and really give us targeted therapy that have a chance to benefit people with ALS.